Ja, und zum herzlich willkommen zurück zu den Winzerbullen. Wie gesagt, wir haben noch zwei Enten vor uns, glaube ich. Einmal eigentlich das gleiche wie vorhin, aber wir betäuben ihn. Und dann warten wir auf den Winzerbull. Und ähm, das andere Ende ist, glaube ich, wir beschwichtigen ihn, dass er nicht mehr weiter angreifen will. Und dann sagen wir, dass wir mit ihm zusammen flüchten möchten. Ja, ich glaube, das sind diese Enten, die jetzt hier noch übrig sind. Ich hoffe, ich komme da wieder hin. Astrogator, this is Yasna. I managed to get to the Condor's Bridge, where Hitra and I led the attack on the cloud. But the Cyclops... Failed? Worse. The Cyclops got out of control, knocked down the probes. I had a feeling it would end like this. Do you know what Rahitra is planning now? I have no idea. But then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. You should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condors. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all this? Rohitra, engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces, to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree, officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still haven't answered me, Vitra. Please, just tell me straight. What do you want? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives, cluster munitions? Hydrogen. What? Vitra? Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads. To start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You're like me. You would do anything for your crew. I understand how you feel. But you can't approach this problem in terms of revenge. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking the ship? Exactly. 
Like Xerxes, we won't gain anything from a mindless attack. On the other hand, knowledge about these creations may turn out to be crucial in helping their victims. In helping you, Rahitra. My memory, you could... It's possible. Well, thank you. What for? I haven't done anything. <laughs> for reminding me of my mom. But as long as the cloud is a threat to others, my condition comes second. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? <laughs> oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Horahitra. Oh, you have no idea what we're up against. These mechanisms are just doing what they did a millennia ago. And we were the ones that provoked them. What? How? By coming here with all our gear, blasters, transmitters, rockets. It's like kicking a hornet's nest. They faced countless species over millions of years. At this scale, humanity is just a blip to them. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Both living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other products of dead evolution. The list is quite long. Hang on. Creators? Yes. Millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations. But something must have created them first. I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Probably some alien race. Highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis III. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't... argue. I'm sorry, but... I don't know if there's any point in discussing this further. In short, we are facing an entity that has triumphed over countless adversaries. Both organic and mechanical ones. I see no point in prolonging this discussion. For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I would even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the Cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well? Yeah. I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Rehitra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. <sighs> but what else could we do if not attack? We can leave this place, and never come back. We have a lander. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. You on the other hand? I'm surprised you didn't evacuate already. Well, I had to make sure you won't do something you'll deeply regret. Let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost ready. Rehitra, for fuck's sake, be reasonable! You won't stand down, will you? An escalatory solution won't work. It'll only needlessly draw the cloud's attention. And I won't have you endanger my support. Rehitra? Rehitra, over. I'm saying. He won't answer you, sir. Not anymore. Oh. Did you neutralize him? I put him to sleep. It's cruel, I know. He will forget everything. All over again. No, yes, no, you did the right thing. He wasn't listening to reason. And have blown everything up. Most likely along with the both of you. 
You actually saved his life. I hope the Invincibles crew thinks the same. The Invincible? Are you saying that... Yes, I'm staying on Regis 3. Yes, sir. You should fly away, Astrogator. Warn everyone from the Commonwealth. And I'll warn those who come here. So... All we can do now is... Yes, indeed, Doctor. Yes, sir. It was truly an honor. <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding the right words. I have one last request. I'm listening. I'd like Koval, Krauter, and Gorski to remember me, even just from your stories. Of course. I'll let everyone know what you did for them. No, no. I don't care about gratitude. I just want them to know who I was. I am. Right. I will try to do justice in capturing your extraordinary character. Although I must admit, it's not an easy assignment. As always, I'm not making anything easier for you, Novik. <laughs> As always, yes, sir. Have a safe journey. Thank you, and... Uh, take care. Over and out. Ein paar Tage später. Finally. Jetzt bin ich gespannt, was jetzt passiert. It's them. They're switching to the channels. To all units in the perimeter, this is the chief navigator of the USCA Invincible Cruiser. We're preparing to land on Regis 3. Call code Sierra Alfa Romeo. Estimated time of approach, T minus 20. Searching for me. This is the chief navigator of the USCA Invincible Cruiser. Hello, Invincible. It's Condor here. Oh, Condor, we hear you. I confirm. We picked up your coordinates yesterday with a message from a member of the Interplanetary Commonwealth. Invincible, I confirm. This is Dr. Yasna, the IC member. Dr. Yasna, nice to meet you. My name is Rohan. Is it your message that we received? I yes. In that case, I'd like a confirmation. Are the rest of the crew still unconscious? Hey, you. I confirm. You. What have you oh, done? No. <laughs> Game created by Star Wars Industries. Natürlich hat Rohitra wieder alles vergessen und hatte keine Ahnung, wer wir sind, warum wir da sind und was wir gemacht haben. Aber auch wieder dieses Ende. Was wurde daraus? Wie ging es aus? Und ich frage mich jetzt gerade wieder, was wäre passiert? Wenn ich nicht geantwortet hätte, Game Published by LearnBit Studios, als The Invincible einen Funkspruch erwartet hat, was wäre da passiert, wenn ich da nichts getan hätte? Wäre das wieder anders ausgegangen? Schwierig zu sagen. Ich weiß nicht, ob das jetzt wirklich alle Enden waren oder ob wir doch noch ein Ende ausprobieren könnten. Ähm, ja, ich würde sagen, ihr seht das auf jeden Fall. Falls noch ein weiteres Video kommt von den Invincible. Und ansonsten vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.